Another method of pouring a block would be using a pouring fixture. This happens to be a K.R. Wilson fixture. Uh, it consists of dams that slide up to catch the edge of the block and I made a couple of uh, uh, pouring, I don't know what you want to call it, pouring fixture, uh, uh, just a couple of beveled edges here to, so when I pour that babbit down in there I am able to get it into that small crack. Uh, the fixture also has a, a square plate, rectangular plate on the top of it uh, to come up that, that assists in the pour. So basically there's some pouring fixture parts and then the fixture itself has a couple of locator holes well, well I've got this one and uh, got them knocked out uh, I'd have a couple of locator pins that would drop into the bolt hole pattern and these dams that go on the end have a small radius in them and they simply slide up catch the edge of the block and you're able to pour the babbit into it. Uh, still requires utilizing preheat to get the block up to temperature because we're looking and we want to get that up around 400, 450 degrees. And the reason we're doing that is there's anchor holes. This is an old piece of babbit that I've knocked out of a block and there's anchor holes drilled into the into the block that the babbit needs to uh, be uh, hot enough and the block needs to be hot enough to where the, these will flow into those anchor holes. This is the mechanical bond that, that you get with, a, with the babbit. Of course you'll peen the babbit and that sort of thing after we're done. You'll see that later on in the process but it's important that we get uh, everything heated up enough to where we do get a mechanical anchor in it. But that is one method. The other method is using molds. Now, I made my own molds. It consists of a sprue, um, some tubing that I tack welded on the end, and I came in here and uh, machined out vents so when I pour that the air can escape and the babbit will get up. It'll be a little proud on the block uh, and I'll file it down. But I found that this just works better for me opening up these vents uh, to where I get a little excess above. Uh, there's nothing worse than pouring one and it lack be just a little short of making a complete bearing. So I just found that it was easy for me to over pour it a little bit and clean it up. It makes for a better looking job.